Hello everybody, Ramblin' Mike here. Gonna share another one of my fun trim tarot decks with you today. Uh, this one is the Tarot of the Magical Forest. Has all our little fun googly-eyed furry friends in this deck right here. Um, with this deck, you get this box, which I have signed. You know, I like to uh, put my little script on them. Uh, hand trimmed by Ramblin' Mike. It also has a cover card, which I've signed. And and this book does come with the, the little white book, but this little white book's actually pretty good, in my opinion. It's got a little story about each one of the majors, and then it has a story about each one of the elements as well, um, with little buzzwords on each uh, uh, numbered part of the element right there. A fun little... Of course, um, it's in four or five languages, but there are four or five pages that are fun. And this is a fun little deck right here. So I wanted to share it with you. I have trimmed it. It's all machine trimmed. Um, nice rounded corners and all of that. Um, here we go. First one here is uh, our fool card. A uh, little piggy. Little piggy up on top of the mountain right there. He's about to take that leap of faith. I love his little doggy with the little skate wheels on right there, you know. Geronimo, here I go. Uh, the next is the magician. I love our little bunny rabbit right there. He's definitely magic. You can see him. He's just floating up off of the ground right here. Uh, then we got our high priestess, who is our owl. Great wisdom. All of that, very intuitive. We all know our owl right there. Our little uh, little piggy right here. The empress seated in her throne. <laughs> she knows she's sweet right here. The old emperor, big piggy, sitting up on top of his throne. All high and lifted up. There he is. We have the hierophant, another owl of great wisdom. I love the little church mice that are down here at his foot. Looking up at him for his little nidbits of wisdom that can come out. The lover's card shows our little black bunny and our little white bunny with our little sheepy angel up above them, blessing them on their little love journey. I love the chariot, the oxen, <laughs> eyes wide open, just full out running. Our charioteer just hanging on back there for dear life. Here we go. The strength card is super fun. The old lion and the lamb. The lamb lays down with the lion. The hermit is fun as well. The polar bear out on the edge of the abyss all by himself. <laughs> but he has the old lantern of wisdom with him. The ten... The Wheel of Fortune with our little kitty cat sitting up on the top as the wheel spins round and round. Looks like the snake's falling off, but the dragon's on his way up there. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice with the wisdom of the crocodile. I like it, the little scales, the sword of truth in the hand. Hangman. What else would it be but a little googly-eyed bat hanging in the tree right there? I love the death card. It's so much fun. What a fun little deck. The big death skull right there. Looks like our emperor down there laying with his eyes. Oh, Lord. And there's the old high priestess. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is temperance, our little sheep. Mixing the two cups. This is the devil card. Uh, <laughs> it shows our little our little sheep down here chained to the old post where the devil sits above them right up there. What a fun deck. The tower where the little sheepies are falling from the from the tower. The star card, once again, one of our blessed little Angel sheep right here. The two cups, one pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. The star of great hope, great faith. 
The moon card almost looks friendly to me, doesn't it, huh? As this little crab gets ready to go down the trail right there, past the towers, <laughs> onto his destination. Sweet little sun card right there. Mama and baby having a wonderful day in the sun. Judgment 20, another little angel blowing the horn, raising everybody up out of the grave. And the world card shows our little blessed sheep slap up in the middle of their world, seeing the world as their oyster. And ooh la la, here is my pearl of great prize. Off to the suit of wands, the ace of wands, very classical. And you can see this is a very playable deck as well. The ace of wands. Two of Wands, our little froggy looking at his new world. Three of Wands, him seeing his ships coming in. Four of Wands, there they are, their little froggy family celebrating life. Five of Wands, all of our little froggies swinging those wands of passion around each other, you know. I like six of wands. It's fun. Has that laurel of victory right up there tied on the stick. So the other frog, you keep looking at it, you keep jumping. This one's like, yeah, go. Let's do it. Seven of wands, our little froggy right there. Uh, standing, standing against them all. You know, he has the high ground though, don't he? Standing against all those pokey stick froggies down there. Eight of wands. Nine of Wands, our little wounded warrior froggy right there. Mm -hmm. And Ten of Wands, the completion of the cycle. This little froggy has a destination. It is that castle there. He is going to get there. When he gets there, he's going to put down all that heavy burden. Pick up that one wand of passion, a passionate new beginning. In this deck, they're called the Knave. This is the Knave of Wands. Here we go. Here is our Knight of Wands. <laughs> I like it. You know, feeling froggy jump. There it is right there. Our Queen of Wands. Definitely uh, these two wanders, they definitely have a large wand that they like to show off. There we go. The King and the Queen of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Off to the Aces here. Very nice. The Hand of the Divine with some clarity, some truth. The Two of Swords, they're our little kitty cat, you know, in the land of indecision about what they're going to do. Not seeing things clearly, but definitely need to make a choice about what they're going to do. Three of Swords, very classic. Three Swords through the old heart right there, huh? Four of Swords, that little kitty cat just taking a break from it all. Getting some healing, spending time with the divine. Five of Swords, I love this guy right there. You know, victory at any cost, you know. Brr, 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 brr. You know, Five of Swords. Here's Six of Swords. Our little kitty cat's coming out of choppy water. Learned a whole boatload of life lessons. Going to head on to some smoother water over there. Seven of Swords, our little sneaky kitty cat right here, huh? Always looking over his shoulder at those two swords that he left behind in the camp. Eight of Swords, there's our little our little kitty cat that's all up in their head. Hmm? Nine of Swords, the wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas, the, the little mouse that got away. I love this deck. And Ten of Swords, look at this. I don't think that that little kitty cat could have got one more sword in their back. Huh? <laughs> Completion of a very painful cycle. With a new day dawning. Who can see that? I can see it way up there. Here is our little knight, or they call him a knave, a knave here. The knave of swords. Our little spy, our little rebel. Here is our knight of swords, you know. Hang on for the wild ride. <laughs> that horse's eyes are pretty googly right there. Oh, lordy. <laughs> He's going into the battle right there. He's got his armor on. Here's our queen of swords. She's definitely seated in her throne. 
and has that sword pointed towards whoever may be approaching her, huh? And the old king of swords just sitting in his throne, Mr. Strategy, huh? Off to the aces or ace of cups with the hand of the divine, the old spiritual dove up on top of the ace. Here's our two of cups, our two bunnies that are in love. But that old, what is that? A lion, owl, <laughs> sheepy looking thing right there. I love it. Our three of cups, our little bunnies all celebrating life. Four of cups. Here's our little bunny sitting under the old skinny oak tree right there looking at love. Reevaluating it all. Five of Five of Cups, River of Tears Bunny. You can almost see that big tear coming out of his eye right there. Six of Cups, our little Six of Cups bunnies. Hi, I feel like I've known you forever. Yeah, yeah. Seven of Cups, that little bunny's just in fantasy land, huh? Looking at all those shiny cups. Eight of Cups, there they go, heading off to go find some emotional fulfillment. Nine of Cups, our little wish fulfillment card right here. There it is. And 10 of Cups, the happy, happy, joy, joy, little bunny family right here, man. Living happily ever after. The Knave of Cups, our little princess of love. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. I mean, that cat right there that that bunny's riding on. Huh? I don't know, man. The old lover right there. You know him. The Queen of Cups holding that cup dearly to her heart. And the old King of Cups definitely not really paying a whole lot of attention to that little cup right there. And his throne is definitely up out of that ocean of emotion. The Ace of Pentacles, I love it, with the little garden, with the archway, the new beginning, the hand of the divine, kind of looks like a paw. The old Two of Pentacles, the old juggler, on the old waves of life. Three of Pentacles, working on a foundation of something that's important to them with somebody else. Four of Pentacles, <laughs> being a little closed off right there. He ain't in the city. He's out of the city. Five of Pentacles, you can see him right there. Sad day. They definitely feel left out in the cold. Six of Pentacles, one may be given a little bit too much to one and not giving enough to another. Seven of Pentacles. Our little gardener in his garden of life, waiting for the manifestation to come. Eight of Pentacles, our little fox right there, hard at work. Nine of Pentacles, there's our little fox at right there. He's feeling sweet and content with life. Nine Pentacles and ten of Pentacles, the quintessential. Universal dream. Oh. Here is our knave of pinnacles. Hey, I found this little pinnacle. Want to talk? Our knight of pinnacles on that very long, slow journey right there with that little stubborn piggy, boar, whatever that is that our little fox is riding with his little pinnacle in his hand. The queen of pinnacles and our king of pinnacles, the king of the world. As you can see, this is a very fun tarot deck. And um, if you are interested in uh, possibly purchasing this, then all the descriptions down below on how to contact me to get your hands on this. Like I said, these make amazing gifts if you want to give them to a friend. All that information is down below if you'd like me to mail it to one of your friends. Hope you're enjoying these. I know I am. 
Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.